Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft and today we're going for the mall part two. So we're going to be creating the entranceway, maybe raising up some of the walls, if not all of the walls, and hopefully we can get the mall looking a lot more fancier. So the first thing we're doing guys is coming to the main entrance as we've already established this will be the main entrance and what i've done is i've gone and knocked the white concrete down into the ground here up until we get to the first block of five here so i want this bit to stay as a solid block this rest will be filled in with glass and stuff like that and this side as well so literally once you come over here you're going to do the 11 the five and obviously then everything's going to go down onto the ground. So what we're going to do is, is grab grey. There we go, grey concrete. And then what we want to do is go on this one here and this one here. Then we're going to come all the way to this one where it's the lonesome one on its own. There. And same over this way. This lonesome one here. And then what we'll do is we'll come to this one here and put the grey there as well. And we'll also go this side, obviously. Okay, with them done, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to raise these up by 20. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got that, guys, and it's looking about perfect, to be fair. It's not too high and it's not too low. Now we want some grey concrete, or light grey concrete, should I say. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six seven and then on the eighth one placing the block same with this side we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight there we go and we should have nice six in the middle like so we do get rid of that one oops sorry no keeping them like that actually yeah and then we'll raise these up to 20 as well there we go. So looking looking pretty good now, actually. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, place in a grey lip over here like so. In fact, should we bring this over one more as well? So it's like there. Okay, so now what we need is grey stained glass. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm, we're going to need to just knock this out a second. Like so. Oh, fill you in there. Like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is go up by one, go across by one, like this. That looks okay, actually. I'm, I like that. I like that. And then what we're going to do is see how many is here. One, two, three, four. Okay, on the fourth one, we're going to place in a nice little window pane. Up like so by. Mm, three yeah we've got three on that one haven't we and we're going to go across here like that and up at the sides here that we don't need that and we've got another little uh, little doorway and this will just come across again like this and across this way as well and again we'll do the same thing on this side i might change this color though maybe i don't know We'll see. Okay, so we've done that, and I'm just thinking, should we just place in these? And this might look like it's a sliding door now. Okay, and same with this side. Whoop, let's get down a bit. There we go. So we've got like a big sort of entranceway. Have these doors sliding open like that. And you got the two side doors as well, just to make it a bit bigger for people that wanna wanna get in. Now what we need to do is go ahead, we're gonna fill these up here and this up there. We're gonna fill them up. Same with this side, so this one to this one. But then on this one, we're gonna come back here for it. So we're gonna fill this side in. Okay, so this is sort of what we've got now, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over with a white, just bring it out by one. As you can see, even on this bit here, we're going to bring it out by one. We'll quickly get all that in there. So like that now. Okay, so we've got a lip by one over, except this bit, obviously, we've got a lip by two. But then what we're going to do is jump up here, and we're going to do grey. And we're going to do this by 
three lengths high, I believe. So keep going across like this. And then one, two, there we go. That should be about right. Let me just build this up and drop down a second. Maybe we're going to go four. I think we're going to go four. I think uh, three looks a bit low. So that's what we've got so far. And we're going to add another white lip over it. Again, we're going to come over by one. Okay, so now that we've got that, guys, you're kind of understanding what I'm going to say now. But we're going to go around and fill all this bit in the exact same. So this is going to be fully glass. We're not going to have this bit anymore. This is going to be literally full of glass. And then obviously we're going to do the top like that. Okay, guys, so we've gone ahead and done that now. And what you would probably find is there's a corner bit here that literally doesn't have any purpose whatsoever but there is a glass pane so just go ahead and fill that in like so and same with this bit when we left off this probably might have been exposed like this just fill this in as well and then what we did or what i've done is i've gone around with this side i was just seeing if it would work but i've put in brick on this side here and followed the borders up top here obviously it's ended here because of this shop now so we might have to do a bit of decorating from here on but the same guys so we knock this out here placing the brick like so and this part here placing the brick and now we're just going to be using brick for the outside and we're going to probably decorate it up as well so there we go i've gone ahead guys i've raised all these up i've replaced these bits here the top bit and this like trim here with smooth quartz and the reason why is because you've got more options with the quartz you've got the stairs you've got the slabs and everything like that so i thought i'd keep this as the quartz and if we drop down i've just placed with quartz bricks is too high just from the bottom here just to add a bit of a different shade and uh, pattern to the bottom of there and what i want to do is get the uh, gray concrete again and place in this here so this will just sort of break the uh, the gray and stuff from the um, brick texture so guys another thing i did was minus the shops i went and laid the floor down and what i used was quartz now i wanted the um, nice grid patterns so i kept them in that's why i didn't use smooth quartz i used just normal quartz i wanted the grid pattern so if you uh want a different flooring you can do well this is what i've gone for at the minute it's not going to stay this color well it's going to stay this color but it's going to have a bit of patterns in it maybe a bit of gray um like diamond shapes or something like that in the flooring i'm not too sure i've changed this stairway up now i had to do this while i was going along because i had to see if it was practical enough because obviously when i first thought of this part i didn't think of the uh obviously the shape and things just sort of banged some stairs up and was like yeah this is going to be a stairwell um but obviously when i tried going through it wasn't practical enough so basically what it is is i had to build it while i was sort of imagining i was going through and you know i wanted to get up a level so i built it like so obviously i'm gonna go slow for you guys so you can sort of see what i've done here so it's still the same wideness um i think the width has changed though so i'm just gonna literally slowly go around here so you guys can see it i know it's a pain obviously me not talking you through it but you know i did uh i had to just make this so i can make sure it's practical enough okay guys so what we're gonna do now before we start raising up all the walls is we're gonna come over to here which is level with that block there and what we're gonna do is gonna jump back by 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and then we're gonna get brick oh there you go brick ah what's up with me today brick stairs like so we're gonna get bricks and we're gonna get brick slabs so what we're gonna do place that there a second so we're gonna go like this so we're gonna go one two three four five six oops six like so place you in there and then what i'll do is i'm gonna have one brick here like this like this this is gonna go up to here and then the slabs is gonna be there so again we'll go two bricks and place you in 
one two three four five six so what we've done is we've come all the way down here and what we'll do is we'll go one two three four five six and then on this sixth one we'll place in this like so and that lines up there like so and this is going to have the, uh, the stairs there place you there you there you there get rid of that there we go that is roughly what i want so i'm going to go ahead and fill all that in okay guys so what i did was i changed it up a little bit so what i've done come to this side now and i've gone with the good old stairs down and the inverted stairs at the top like this and it gives this little little mark like carving out of the brick i guess and then what we'll do when we get to here obviously if you start trying to like do stuff it starts curling round so what you do is you come to this last brick here you go round like that and then the same with this one like so and it matches up perfect then what we'll do is come over to here, place that in there. Then we'll do an upside down stairs here with slabs. And this goes all the way along and it just gives us a little bit different to just a plain boring wall. As you can see, it sort of adds a bit more depth to it. And maybe every once in a while, uh, maybe might be worth just adding something like that in. But I, I'm going to sort that a bit later. I might do it like every two place them in i'll get back to you guys on that because i will really want to start this entrance way here now so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to get this uh, quartz block and we're going to go up by two and what we'll do is we'll come over to here we'll go say if this is actually no let's get rid of that and put white concrete here so this is where the uh, entrance is going to be the window and stuff like so we'll get rid of that and then we'll go one two three four five six and fill this all in now. Okay, so there we go, we've got that, and we'll just get some quartz stairs and go all the way along here. Whoops, I'm placing it up there, like so. Oh, what's up with me today? There we go, and again, another layer here. Like so, actually. Yeah, no, we do. I was going to say, should we have another layer? But we don't want another layer. Uh, actually, if we bring it to about here. Say something like that. Maybe place that in there. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. That looks a lot better. So we're going across now. And it's just basically the second one from the end here. Place it in here. Get rid of you. We want to add, I think it's these two of the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so these two are the um, the main bits. There we go, you're gonna be like this, aren't you? So let's see, it's come down the middle like this. We'll go like this. Um, with this side, we'll go this way. Okay, so we've got that now, and it's just sort of like divides the stairs. So, you know, you go in, you can go over this side and then come through the, well, there'll soon be an entrance here. So let's quickly clear our inventory out. And what we're doing now is we need to count basically 25 up. So we're gonna go from here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, 21, 22. We'll go 22 because 25 is obviously level with that last brick over there, the last brick block over there. So we just want to go that little bit below. And again, we're going to bring this up to the same height. I think we had 23, didn't we, actually? I want 22. I want it just to be a little bit lower. And then what we'll do is we'll bring it across like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our glass panes and we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, and then here, Gonna place white in across like so and again we'll do the same this side one two three and then what we'll do is one two and then on the third one we're gonna place in the glass panes again like so we're gonna add white in here and one two three and add this in here glass 
pane there. And then on this middle bit, we're going to have glass blocks and glass pane. So this is going to look kind of like it's a slidey door and these are obviously going to come out this way. So these are like, you've got to open yourself kind of doors. And what we could do is get some iron bars maybe. Oops, not you. Iron bars. There we go. Knock this middle one out and place that in. So it looks kind of like a door handle. Same for this side as well. Place you in there. Something like that. And then what we'll do is we'll get white to come across all the way here. Like so. And then what we're going to do, fill that in with nice little grey. Like so. Voila. And then what we'll do, we'll get our grey. Light grey, sorry, not grey. Light grey over the top there, like so. And obviously this side, this is going to be filled, obviously, with... Uh, brick or whatever material we're going to use for that and then what I want is quartz smooth quartz in fact for the top and what we'll do is we'll bring this like so okay so we've got that what we're gonna do is jump inside and what I want to do is I want to knock these out just like maybe three Let's see three should we go all the way along in fact to here and just knocking this out and this is sort of going to be like a rug or a anti-slip carpet whatever you want to call it whatever it is you get these like in doorways of like supermarkets and stuff like that and obviously shopping malls just to stop people when the face come in and the feet's wet stops them from slipping in fact let's go maybe one more there we go. Okay, so let's just uh, test something first. Will it look better if we had it divided like this? Mm, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep it divided like that. Okay, so what I've done is I've placed these quartz stairs in here to sort of divide it a bit. I'm not too sure on that at the minute, guys. Obviously, we're going to work more on the inside when it comes to, like, interior designing. This will probably be bulked out a bit as well. It's not going to be this flat like this way. Um, so that is basically the second entrance done. What we're going to do is going to swing around to this little entrance at the side here. So let's go ahead and lower this and place it in the ground. Okay, so we're down to this side now. And um, what we want to do is make this one a bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this in here. We're going to go by three, bring this down. And what this is, this is going to be like a, a little entrance, not as big as the other two. So we'll have it like that. And then what we'll do is say four and one, two, three, four. There we go. So we've got four in the middle. And we're just going to place these up. And this is literally just going to be like that. Oh, we can't have the doors. Hmm. Maybe knock them out. Like that and then we'll have these maybe like this something like that I don't know I'm trying different designs with the doors and stuff like I'm, I'm, I get a bit sick of seeing the same old doors something like that maybe so it slides open there this bit isn't gonna open okay and then what we'll do is we'll go up by one two three four twenty we'll go up twenty on this one and again we just got to do a nice square window. I might, if I can think of some patterns or something or whatever to put in the glass, I might do like some patterns in the glass. Same with that one over there and them over there as well. Put some like designs in them using window panes or something or just blocks, whichever. So let's go ahead and fill this in now with uh, glass. Okay, so we've got this and I've just thought of a pretty decent idea actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this with grey. And bring it out a bit more by say four yeah let's go four four looks okay we're gonna bring this over now obviously it's not gonna look like amazing at the minute because we haven't got any of the walls around it obviously filled in but when the walls are in and stuff it'll look quite nice and tight and then obviously we're gonna come back to here whoops keep falling in fact we need to come this way anyway and then in here not this through and we're going to put the dark again, like so. And then here, knock this through, like that. Oops, where are we going with that one? 
Okay, there we go. And again, we're going to come up to here. And we're going to just add the quartz slabs here, I think. Let's have a look. See what this looks like first. If not, we're going to use stairs. Let's have a look. Actually, no, that looks nice. That looks nice. I'm going to keep it like that. Okay guys, so we're on to this side now, just knocked it all down, and here is just the one. So we'll start with this one, and we're going to go up. Again, I think we're going to go by 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4. In fact, we're going to go 25, so it's equal to that entrance. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go. So I went up by 20 and then decided, you know what, I'm going to add another one in. And then here, we're going to go up again by 25. And what we'll do is we're going to connect them together. Okay guys, so this was a bit of a pain in the bum and I've gone ahead and done this one myself on my own because it was a bit stressful, I'm not going to lie. Because it's on an angle, it's very hard to get things sort of equal and whatnot. So what I did was I went over here, I placed in a three high glass blocks, missed the two gap here, placed another glass pane pillar, then got light grey into here. And then just missed one gap here between these for the entrance. Got two here, one gap, one, one, one gap, one here. It's a bit of a pain, and that's why I sort of had to do it off cam. So I could uh, sort of look back and see what I'm doing wrong here. And then obviously with these bits, I've just sort of gone one layer around with all of this, as you can see. Same as what we did with the top. And, yeah, it looks a bit uneven and whatnot, but obviously we need it. Oh, yeah, that's why that was there. Something like that. There we go. We just did uh, one, obviously, over the top, and then, obviously, one below. And this is the same level as what is over there, and it should connect fine. All right, guys, so we've come to the first entrance we made today, and what we've done is we've raised these up by... The same height as them over there. As you can see, I've got a nice long line of the roof going across over there. And it leads to here. So we know it's the right size. And basically, we've just raised it up with brick. And you can see now that it's going to start looking a bit more closed in. Because we're going to start adding walls in now. And what I want to do, I want to increase these walls. I want this to be all brick up until about here okay so this is going to be up by 25 all the way up and this whole exterior wall is going to be plain brick i know you're thinking plain brick that's going to be a bit boring but we're going to add a pattern into it don't worry all right guys so we've gone ahead we filled it up with brick and we did it so we come up to here but i i want this bit as well filling up with brick by 25 so this is like another entrance but it's not a, a public entrance should we say it's uh, it's like an employer's entrance so there's not going to be like a massive entrance way here i'm literally just going to have like i don't know something like that so we'll just go like literally something like that get some brick stairs there we go something like that place that in and then i don't know uh iron door place that in oh uh, we got um Where's the button? And the button, we'll get stone button here. So literally, we're just gonna have, place that there. Whoops, not up there, we want it down here. Just literally something like that, okay? And then this is obviously, like I say, gonna be filled like so. And now then, obviously, add in the smooth quartz. So guys, the same applies. Everywhere there's gonna be just a plain brick wall. We're gonna do the same as what we did over there. We're gonna get the quartz brick like so i'm just going to place this in like here this doesn't really matter because that's going to be obviously covered but we'll put it in anyway place that there so two from the bottom all the way is going to have a quartz brick like so i've actually gone around the whole mall and everywhere where i want brick 
to be I've placed it in but I will guide you through it anyway like over there we've got over there over there and things like that so they're all gonna be brick but we'll uh, we'll do it all together so we've got this part done we're gonna swing around to this shop here and I want light gray okay we're gonna have light gray and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this all the exterior in we're gonna rise this up by that looks all right actually maybe two more okay so what we've got instead of counting from the bottom we'll just count from the top here so this is 25 so we're gonna go one two three oh so basically five from the uh top block here so 20 and we're gonna do the same as always guys we're gonna fill this in from here all the way up Okay, there we go. So it's lined up perfect with the border that we had originally. And I didn't even plan that, to be fair. It just happened to line up and connect nicely. So what I want to do is we know that this is where it's going to be full of brick now. So this can let you come all the way across and it's going to line up with that. But we're going to follow the pattern on the floor here. We've gone and followed that pattern up here and you can see it goes round and it looks quite nice actually once we add this roof in it'll look a lot better and it won't look as open but we're going to do the roof another day now what we're doing was come into this shop here now i want this shop to be a bit different i don't want it to be light gray i want it to be gray so let's get gray where is it there it is and we're going to do the same thing we're going to rise this up by one i'm going to do 12. this is going to be a small shop and obviously it's going to come all the way to here we're going to go one two three that block there didn't count so that's 12 if you include that block and it should go across here what we're going to do is we're just going to literally get the walls in we're not going to worry about the details and stuff as of yet so let's just go fill this in there we go so this shop is this high because we don't want it to have another floor okay what i might do raise it up by two more it looks a bit low from a distance to be fair so that's the only reason i want to raise this up by another two but as well as that what we'll do from here this oh, this one here is going to go all the way and it's going to follow this shop around is that level no one more there we go and it's going to go all the way around it's going to follow the pattern on the floor so i've gone way too far here so it's going to be like that so if we basically fill all that in and it's going to turn out pretty much like how that one did so it's going to have like this back bit's going to be all brick and whatnot and then obviously fill them okay guys so this is what we've got so far it's looking pretty decent i know guys that there's no details to it at the minute um i'm just mainly trying i mean it took me a while just to get like all this bit done and I've still got all that bit to go yet. So we're trying to sort of pace forward. I think what we'll do is we'll have an episode where we go out and start styling the outsides of it. But what we've got now from here is brick is going to be taking over now. We've got the obviously the quartz brick here down. Then what we're going to do is raise this up. Like say anywhere where there's brick. Whoops, get rid of that one there. Anywhere there's brick, it's just going to rise up to here. Or the same length as uh, as the entrance, which is 25 high. So let's go ahead and fill all this in. Okay, there we go, guys. And what we're going to do is, again, get the iron doors. Here we go. And get the button. I forgot what it was called then. Get the button. There we go. And what we're going to do is just go... Whoops. Two here. Two here maybe three here i don't know just something random doesn't have to be anything in fact we'll just have one there and one there oh going in oh can't get through there we go going inside we'll place these in just something like that i don't know place them in there do these even work that opens that one that opens both of them that opens that that opens both of them right that's fine it doesn't matter it doesn't need to uh, make sense to be fair and then what we'll do some nice there we go upside down um <laughs> upside down stairs to to add to it and what i might do maybe just add a lip over here like this 
Actually, should we try quartz stairs? Let's try uh, quartz stairs. In fact, let's try smooth quartz stairs first. Not you. Not you out. Oh, we're not you out. Uh, so we're going to place these in here. Mm. What if we add them in? Do we have a chisel? Uh, no, we don't. Okay. Whoops, not that. Let's try that. Yeah, let's keep it like that. It's a little something a bit different. Like I say, we'll we'll change all of this. We'll add more detail to it as we go. And I'm just making sure we know that that's like where like there's like a staff entrance. Same with the other side as well. In fact, let's go over to this side again, where we've got the um, the other staff entrance, which is here, right? Yeah. And let's let's do the same. Let's do the same. Like that. And then bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I like that. It just makes it a bit different, doesn't it, compared to the rest of it. But like I say, we'll go and sort things like that out as we go along. All right, here we are. So what we need to do now, guys, is I want to fill all this. This is going to be a big job, to be fair. So from here, I want to fill all this in, all the way around, even all the way around here. Ignoring that bit for that's the uh, car park. So if we follow this all the way around, and I mean literally all the way around here, all the way, and we're going to even do all this bit with brick. Then we're going to do all this bit as well with brick. Okay, and the brick's going to end here. So again, it's going to be like 25 high. So it all sort of goes the same height as over there. As you can see, guys, that's a big lot to have full of brick, but it's okay. It's okay. It'll look good in the end. Cause like I say, we're going to just get the walls up and then we'll sort of deal with the details and stuff like that. And then what we'll do is we'll fill the same with this over here. That is going to be all brick 25 and that's going to be brick 25 high again. And then what we'll do is we'll put all that up as well. 25 so it literally matches the same as that. So we had these quartz bricks too high. I've gone and raised them all by three now. Even all these around here, it's all gonna be three quartz bricks and then the rest is gonna be obviously brick. And like I say, it's gonna hopefully match up and it's all gonna be the same height as that, 25. And then what we'll do as well, just to save the time, is we'll go ahead and we'll put the quartz over the top there. Okay guys, so this is what it should look like all the way around. Now, I've gone ahead, filled it all in as usual, because it'd take too long guys if I had it all basically laid out for you. So I have to skip these things because it'd just be way too long. Now this part's gonna be a multi-story car park eventually. So I'm leaving that sort of like that at the minute. It might come a bit higher to be fair, the uh, car park. But what we'll do is we'll jump round to these shops here. Okay, so we're back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill all this in. And we're going to do it by... I think we're going to raise this all this shop up by... So we get to this marker, actually. So here. Okay, guys. So as always, we're going to do a one lip over here like that. Okay, so all the way along. And then obviously we're going to have the uh, brick there. That's going to be over the top. Okay, so that's what we've got now, folks. And we need to change this into... Um, oh, we've already got it. Let's go with grey. Let's go with normal grey. Okay, there we go. We've got it in now. That's looking good. And what I want to do is come around to this bit. And what we'll do is we'll place in... Um, actually, should we try a pure brick pillow in here just to divide it up? Like that, and get the smooth quartz around like that. Uh, where's the quartz bricks? Get this going up like that. Yeah, I like that. It just sort of divides it a little bit. I like it. So let's move on to this side now, and this is the last one. And I just want this to be fully light grey. So from here all the way to over here. So here. It'll be, and I actually want this 
I think I want this to be the same size, to be fair. I'm pretty sure I do. So what I did for this bit, guys, I was so set that I was going to do it all the way up, but I didn't end up doing it all the way up. I just did it to the trim bit here. So what I did from this part, I counted 20 along. Then I went down that way, and it literally lined all the way up with this bit here, what we had. Okay, so it literally this bit shoots all the way along and it gets up to there okay so now that we've got the whole entire building pretty much done or the outside anyway it's time to add a bit more detail to these plain boring brick walls so what we're going to do is we're going to have a nice little quartz bricks all the way around again but by one more higher so get up to here um i think that should do something like that just try and do your best when it comes to going up just gonna have this going all the way around just see what that looks like first before we start you know go yeah that'll do and then it looks a bit rubbish when we step back so it should look something like that all the way around which to be fair looks okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get light gray and I want gray as well uh, there it is got you and then what we'll do is we're gonna make like a side, like a, an advertisement on the side or a billboard, whatever. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this bit coming from, say here, so the third one from the end, and we're gonna get this going all the way to the very end. I don't know, this might fail, so please don't blame me if it does. Like this, and then have it going up to about two from the end there. Keep going along. So something like that. And maybe get quartz. Oops, where is it? Quartz. Uh, we'll get smooth quartz. We'll get uh, daylight sensors. Mm, we'll get redstone. I always forget the name of this lamp. I always forget that it's called redstone lamp. And what we'll do is we'll maybe go on here. Maybe not you. Just going across. What we'll do is we'll go every one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go eight. We're gonna have this going up. Maybe like that. Um, there we go, something like that. You know what, I think we need just stone. Uh, there we go, stone slabs for this maybe. Maybe that'll just be the be better. There we go, guys. So what I did was, obviously, this went from 8, then this was 10, this was 8, this was 10, and then whatever's in the middle is just whatever's in the middle. And obviously, I've set the daylight sensors so they are on nighttime. I didn't mean to throw the uh, red stones. But now what we can do, when we figure out like what we're going to call the shop, or maybe if you've got a shop name in mind, you can do it with quartz. So I don't know, say we've got something like this. Whoops. I don't know what, what we got. There we go. We're going to have that as the first sort of uh, letter. And then we'll make some load of numbers and letters and that up. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have it called something decent, to be fair, guys. I don't know what. I'll tell you at the end if I think of something. I was thinking maybe if we get quartz, uh, smooth quartz stairs, maybe putting it around the bottom trims of the building like this. Now it looks okay-ish, but obviously when it comes to the uh, stairs in a minute, it's gonna shoot us in the foot. There we go, it's not too bad, I guess. And then it'll be like when we get up here, be like that, but I think we'll have it just curling round. You know what, let me uh, just quickly do this and see what it looks like. You know what, guys? <laughs> I actually like it with the stairs. Normally I don't tend to do the stairs. I don't tend to do stairs at the bottom because obviously it means that you're building sort of caving out at the bottom like that. Whereas this actually looks decent. I think I'm gonna add it just for a bit more style and a bit more pattern. So what we'll do guys, we'll use the quart bricks all the way one above the normal brick around everywhere there's brick. And then we'll put obviously the stone, oh sorry, the quart stairs, smooth quart stairs all the way around. 
and voila look at that guys i've just randomly come up with a name called eBuds, and these are meant to be um, you could say they're e for ears but i, I kind of think they look like earbuds i don't know that was what i was going for and obviously i had to fit something in there <laughs> for some reason the only thing that came into my head was 17 or 19 whatever you want to do uh, just have that in in fact what you could do with this is maybe get a button that one um, and place you in maybe there like that so we've got 19 i don't know <laughs> it's just trying to get things up maybe placing these in the corners maybe like this Ooh, no it don't don't look as good there but we'll, we'll leave it in that corner anyway because that looks good something like that and what we're going to do is we're going to go to every entrance or we've got one entrance there well it's not even an entrance actually we've just got one there because that's going to be sort of the way into the car park uh, we're going to probably put one here and one here maybe if we swing around to the front Okay, so this big shop here needs to have one. Nice big billboard, um, but we'll sort of cross that a bit later on. This is going to have a nice big billboard here. Or maybe a couple. I don't know. Just one there anyway, because that looks nice enough. Maybe have one on here, actually, as well. And then swing around. What we're going to do is maybe put, like, sort of a banner or something either side of this, maybe. Like, have some banners here. Maybe a little billboard here. Maybe one here for a shop sign, maybe. We just want to start putting in, like, shop signs outside so we know what they are. Maybe one here. Definitely need some around here. At the entrances, 100% having them. We're going to have something here, maybe, as well. So I've already started working on the car park. It's not really the best so far. But let's just go ahead. We're going to use pretty much the same method. You can make it any shape or size and we'll f think of some shop names as well actually while we're at it ebuds just popped into my head okay guys so here we are we have sort of the finished product of the outside anyway at least now what i've gone and done in places like this where it's solid brick is i've just gone ahead with some brick stairs and just placed them in and then i pushed the wall back so one from the end so there's one pillow that is from the end either side and i've done this all the way around as you can see look there's one there and then obviously push this back with just normal brick and then gone all the way up and just one from the top there's one gap at the top here before it goes back into stairs like so and then when we come to the white trim i followed it round and then i've gone into the wall like this okay so it's gone in and it's followed it all the way around and we've done that on all of the wall with without any signs or anything like that we can add signs here if you want you can add like banners and stuff like that i haven't bothered with this part because obviously this part doesn't ain't really going to be seen especially if you're in survival you know you're going to be down here a lot you're not going to really see what's up there so probably have like some easter eggs in here or something like that maybe like a dead rising easter egg because obviously in my world i want to add like little easter eggs and maybe a little treasure chest so that when i do come to play this on survival you know the the secret chests around and I want to add little quests in so you find a chest and open it and there's like a story or something like that or a letter telling you to go find treasure or this, that and the other. So that's what I kind of want to add into my world. So bits like this is going to be great. It's going to make you want to, you know, try and get up here and see what there is. But where the signs are, I've sort of gone around the signs. So we've got just the stairs up here. I haven't done it with all the signs, just a few of them like this one. It's just going all the way across and obviously we've got we've tried to make the best we can with the signs okay so they're not the best don't get me wrong we've got the ebuds over there which is my new brand e ebuds is my new brand now i don't know <laughs> then we've got the uh, equivalent of adidas but it's with a c so i don't know i don't know what i was thinking of the name i just thought a c instead of an a um so it's like an adidas but instead of three stripes it's two stripes i don't know we've got some bite that's another one i don't know it's, it's going to be a tanning shop or i don't know like a travel shop or it kind of looks like a pizza maybe i don't know and then if we swing around obviously these plain you know gray ones and things like that we've got a gray shop here and a dark gray over there we're going to leave them because that probably means that this is probably going to be all glass or it's going to have a lot of glass in and stuff like that so when we do the inside then we can come outside add the window in and that and then maybe add the sign the shop logo or whatever i am going to be adding a sign into this um but i'm not too sure 
what I am having yet. So obviously the mall is called Edge Mall. So I did a nice little sign. I like the way I did the um, the E, like that E. It was actually a mistake that I did that when I made the eBud shop. I actually, it was a mistake that I missed a block or two with the E uh, using the slabs. So it kind of um, kind of stuck actually. And again, we just got the other entrance here with the E jet. <laughs> Not the E-Jet as in you idiot kind of way, but E-Jet as in like Easy Jet or something like that. That'll be our airline, the E-Jet shop. Um, and then obviously if we keep swinging around again, these will be probably like glass or something like that. I don't know. Um, we're going to go around here. There we go. I was going to say, where the hell's the next one? So we've got one here. I think I've missed one, haven't I? No, I was going to have one here, but I decided to scrap it because I didn't want too many all the way around. Obviously we've got Tag. I don't know. <laughs> it's meant to be like a cross here kind of thing. I don't know, tag. And then we've got Splash, which is another sort of shop of ours. And then we've got the, the, the car park is coming along pretty nicely. I just need to turn this in so it goes, it starts going up here. And this is going to be where it starts going around and stuff. A few spaces there. But that is obviously going to be um, a different part. I might even... I don't know, actually, guys. Do you reckon I should do a let's build on this part? Like, add this into one of the parts? Because if you didn't want this part, that's why I've continued it as if, you know, nothing was, like, going to be here. So you could literally do this part and then add, like, some signs in, do the dips and whatnot, what we've got. We've got the dips, obviously, in, like, places like here, look, so it goes in. So you just add that into this part. So if you don't want the car park, you can just go ahead and use obviously what we've done either put some signs up or whatnot i'm probably going to have a, a sign on the um car park as well that'll look cool so as you can see i've sort of started i've i've got the layout okay i've got the layout if you want to follow this or if you want to sort of get ahead with it you can sort of pause the video and sort of see what i've done here and then maybe if you want to catch up with that so that is it for the outside guys we've practically got it all done and it is looking really nice. The only thing we need to do now, guys, is these. So what I've done with the uh, wall outside, it's not the best. Obviously, this isn't the main attraction and things like that. So what we did was over on here, look, you can see it's a bit different. And what we did was we basically did every 10 from this block. We just did literally stairs like this. So back to back stairs. And obviously, we had brick slabs on the top of them two that we did. And that's literally it, every 10. I think I measured it and I think one, I think it might be that one maybe, it's got 11. So the way we did it is it worked out okay, but one further away. So literally one of these is 11, but I can't remember which one. And I'm not too bothered about it because I literally cannot tell at all. Um, I'm looking at it now, it might be, I think it is this one here that is 11, but instead of changing it all, I'm happy with it because obviously, like I say, I don't even notice it and neither will you. This just literally lines up with the door here, literally the door here. And then what we did with this one was the same as what we just did on them ones, except the middle one, obviously we've got one more where we just put a normal stairs, whoops, where's the normal stairs there, and then three over the top nice and simple now i know there's been a lot of cutting and a lot of you know going away and filling in myself i'm going to add a logo in all the windows as well i know there's been a lot of uh, like cutting away and stuff like that but guys this has literally took me i think i started this before i released the part one so it's i've literally been working on this um, trying to get it and you know get it perfect I've literally I've made so many copies of this world to you know practice on the walls and stuff like that practice bit by bit basically so yeah I've been like you know copying the world then when I raised the walls up and I was happy with it I was like right delete that copy then make a new copy and then practice like what can I do obviously I wanted a bit more details in this but I didn't want to take like the color away and stuff because obviously i started adding a few different colors in and it started looking a bit rubbish so i went with the design of keeping the brick in the middle and like i said we might change it we might change it we might not but for now guys this is what i'm happy with and i think the next episode guys we're gonna do the roof 
The roof, yeah. The good, good old roof. Once we've got it sealed inside, oh, sorry, we've got it sealed over the top and everything, and there's no gaps to, you know, you've got to get in through the entrance. Then we're going to come and start working on the main entrance and, like, the main halls and things like that, make a pattern and stuff like that. And then we can go on to doing, like, the shops and things like that. I've got no idea. So, guys, throw shop ideas at me. Just throw them at me. And we'll be happy. Obviously, we've got clothes and things like that. We've got clothing. So don't. there's no point adding like clothing and food courts and things like that in because that's already up in me little noggin. I've already got it. And this is going to be two, maybe even three floors. I don't know how I'm going to like get that into motion, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. And that is it for me, guys. We are all done with the exterior. We've just literally got the roof to put on, and then we're moving on inside the mall. And I can't wait to, you know, come up with some ideas and things like that. It'll be really good. So if you did like it, don't forget to leave that like button. Please leave me a sub, because I really do appreciate it, guys. We've just reached 2,000 subs. And I know it's not a lot, but I still appreciate every single sub that I get. And don't forget, guys, share if you can, if you want. And if you do, I really appreciate that too. And I will see you guys in part three.